What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. So in today's video I thought that we would take a look at my mailbox on my usual transmog selling tune because normally when we get a new expansion I can't be bothered with posting transmog as it takes me a couple of hours to post all my transmog across all the different realms that I play on and when you get a new expansion the gold per hour that you can do with actively farming provides you a lot of gold to the point where it's unless you're posting in a second account it's not really worth to take the time to post and also i'm not in the position where i need gold so it's just way more fun to spend the time in the new expansion but after the auction house finally started to work again after all the issues with the launch there seemed to be no throttling on the auction house so i had to test that out and it was very fast to post transmog and i noticed that the sales were doing good so i figured like hey why don't i just keep my auctions posted for a week and see how it's going to perform this early in an expansion so that's what we're going to do before we do that though big thank you for all the support on the zero to 10 million gold guide which is a gold guide featuring all the tactics and methods that i personally use in order to achieve hundreds of millions of gold so not only does it have the latest water within methods of making gold but it also has the steady fundamental ways uh, that i make gold like crafted the transmog for instance in the gold guide like it's all in there and it comes with a lifetime of free updates so if that sounds interesting check it out with the link down below in the description and don't forget to use the discount code student for 50 percent off so the amount of auctions isn't that impressive 263 auctions sold on this tune and the first 100 auctions 157,000 gold i mean it's nothing biggie like i'm selling some items have gone up drastically in price like these soulstone legs it wasn't that long ago and when i sold them for like 2000 gold now they're 28000 gold on that sale um there's going to be a lot of like uh sour like cavern sales as well it was one of my investments which you guys will see in a short bit like all of these this is a really cheap price extremely cheap price but i bought in on these items for like between 150 to 300 gold each so i'm still like 10xing my gold on these and there's going to be more impressive sales uh on those items later on so it was one of the things that was up on my uh my vip discord where is the only source where i share my investments you can also watch all my youtube videos before they go public on youtube and you get exclusive content to like investments there's uh gold tips spreadsheets and much more but that's also linked in the description the next 100 auctions way better 346,000 gold and you can see somebody still has the intention of moving these to a different realm thousand percent selling them for more profit barbarian spear right there uncanny so crafted turbo flying machine 14k not bad starless mantle 18.9k that's like a 100x on uh my initial investment so happy with that glorious likes still got a bad price uncanny leather waist guard 50 000 gold like that's big uh felsty long blade not that impressive cuparium rocket the mats alone are 60k but uh this is good profit compared to how much i've sold them for and also some uh, dragonflight toys right here so a uh, transmog is uh it's not doing bad i have some more sales on my other realms as well which i craft in multiple realms and on the majority of realms prices are up and the demand for transmog is also up so selling transmog right now is really really good these last 63 auctions is over 300,000 gold. You can see Moonless Gloves right here, 14,000 gold. Skyless Greaves uh, and Skyless Striders. Like, th th these are very good sales for items that I paid like 250, 300 gold for 25k for these. Saronite Sword Breakers, 9.5. Starless Mantle and Gauntlets. Like, somebody bought, bought the entire set right here. Extremely good. Another Felicity Longblade. Storm Shroud item selling. Skyless again. Sarah like Caverns. Aboriginal Vest for 11k. Not bad. It's a farm transmog. Null Casting Gloves. Extremely easy gloves to get from a Wetlands. It was one of the items that was removed from the game but re-implemented in patch 10.17. But all in all, uh, after one week of selling on this bank tune uh, alone, without restocking any crafted transmog or anything... 818,000 gold not bad and uh I, I can't stress that enough i have been slacking the items have been laying in the, the mailbox for maybe 12 14 hours before i've been asked to uh repost them because i've been playing the war within so much and my second bank tune which is the bank tune where i sell my uh my gray and my white transmog haven't really sold that much because i haven't restocked anything for ages like i haven't recrafted items because i haven't been asked 
but some of the prices for the stuff that I have been selling on this realm and on my other realms have been very impressive. So on white items, where I make my majority of gold is usually crafted Shadowlands, uh, like the base legendary items. And like these Shadow Gas Gauntlets and Helm, like 20,000 gold a pop really good i mean that's i usually sell these for a couple thousand gold it's barely any profit in them but now they're selling like hot kicks shadow uh, gas the uh, sabatons as well 9k sabatons right here the, the shoulders 7.2k really good prices ceremonial uh bracers as well only eighty-seven thousand gold clean out uh, and a total of like nine hundred thousand gold roughly this week on a transmog but that's only on this realm though even though it is the realm where i do the majority of my farming all the farming in fact on the other realms i only craft and sell and it, by far the realm where i have the most amount of auctions but transmog is definitely i'm not sure if you can call it back because it was never really gone but uh Transmog is doing extremely well right now, and I know I could have done way better if I just did something as simple as recraft the items that I've sold lately. Uh, so don't sleep on Transmog. If you have Transmog laying around, but you're too focused on the water within, it could definitely be worth to uh, make sure to have those auctions active on the auction house and not let them stick around in the mailbox. But that's pretty much it for today's video. So if you want to see every uh, method that I use in order to uh, acquire and build up these big auction houses, don't forget to check out the 0 to 10 million gold guide. And of course, if you already have that and it's helped you make a lot of gold, by all means, feel free to check out the VIP Discord, which is pretty much like a Patreon. Way simpler though, because it happens on a Discord server, also linked in the description. With that being said, I appreciate all of you guys watching, and I will see you all back in at the next video. But until then, bye-bye.